On cold mornings, Percy often saw workmen wearing scarves. My funnel's cold, my funnel's cold, he would puff. I want a scarf, I want a scarf. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry one day. Engines don't want scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, said Percy in his cheeky way. You've only got a small one. Henry snorted. He was proud of his short, neat funnel. Just then, a train came in, and Percy, still puffing, I want a scarf, I want a scarf, went to take the coaches to their siding. His driver always shut off steam just outside the station, and Percy would try to surprise the coaches by coming in as quietly as he could. Two porters were taking some luggage across the line. They had a big load and were walking backwards to see that none fell off the trolley. Percy arrived so quietly that the porters didn't hear him until the trolley was on the line. The porters jumped clear. The trolley disappeared with a crunch. Boxes and bags burst in all directions. Oh, where? Uh, groaned Percy and stopped. Sticky streams of red and yellow jam trickled down his face. A top hat hung on his lamp iron. A pair of striped trousers coiled lovingly round his funnel. They were grey no longer. Angry passengers looked at their broken trunks. The fat controller seized the top hat. Mine, he said crossly. Percy, he shouted, look at this. Yes, sir, I am, sir, a muffled voice replied. My best trousers, too. Yes, sir, please, sir, said Percy nervously. I am very cross, said the fat controller. We must pay the passengers for their spoiled clothes. My house is dented and my trousers are ruined, all because you will come into the station as if you were playing grandmother's steps with the coaches. The driver unwound the trousers. The fat controller waved them away. Here she wanted a scarf. He shall have my trousers for a scarf. They will keep him warm. Percy wore them back to the yard. He doesn't like scarves now.